I am taking you Welcome to the Vintage Girl Next Door. My name is Lacey and today I am taking you on a closet tour. Woo! Okay, so uh, I've had several requests to do this and so we're gonna do it. Uh, I am just going to do my true vintage wardrobe first and we are breaking it up into sections um, because I wanna be able to show you all of my true vintage but I know that if I did it all in one video, it would be super long video. So we're gonna break it up into eras so and categories as well. So first of all, today we are doing 30s, 40s, and 60s true vintage. For the sake of time, I will not be doing a try on in this video. However, I will insert pictures of me wearing these vintage items. So that you can see how they look on and uh, I won't have to spend all day getting in and out of clothes. <laughs> so I am planning on showing you all of my true vintage wardrobe um, but let me know if you want to see my reproduction vintage wardrobe as well because that's a whole nother thing. <laughs> so yeah first up like I said 30s 40s 60s true vintage and I have thrifted 99% of what I'm showing you today. And I've also accumulated all of this over the span of several years. Do you want any cash? You helping me? Like I said, 99% of what I'm showing you today is thrifted. And so I will show you, There's I have one suit that is not, that I actually um, purchased from a vintage clothing store. So. Without further ado, let us get started into my vintage wardrobe, the era's 30s, 40s, and 60s. The reason why I lumped it that way is because I have the least amount of those and then my true vintage 50s is quite large uh, over the, the years of collecting and so that one is going to be its own thing in itself. <laughs> so yeah, let's get started. Okay, first up, we are going with the 1930s, and I actually only have one dress that's 1930s. It's just not my era that I gravitate towards, and it is very hard to find thrifting. However, I did find this amazing 1930s beaded dress. Look how gorgeous it is. Oh my, I just love it. Like the beading on it, and then these buttons, it's so pretty. The little puff sleeve, like it's so classic 30s. Um, it's beautiful. It has this um, belt that attaches around the back and then it, the closure for it is little, um, little snaps here on the side. So yeah, this I acquired from one of my favorite antique stores in town that ended up actually trying to sell out their inventory and go out of business. And so all of the clothing that they had, they sold me at a super cheap price. Oh, I paid $10 for this amazing 30s dress. Can you even? I was so overjoyed with it. So yeah, it, it's a favorite. I love it. I've only worn it once just because I just, I'm scared it's delicate. I mean, it's not, but it is. Like, I just worry. I don't want to lose any of these beads, and it's. I don't want anything bad to happen to it. Like, if I spilled or something, I don't know. So it's here for a special occasion. Like, look at these details. Oh, I love it. It's so pretty. Yeah, my my one and only 1930s dress. <laughs> Okay, next up we're heading into the 40s and I have to show you this gorgeous 1940s. It's very sheer, um, it has a really cool like key, keyhole neckline situation and then it is kind of like, kind of has a little bit of ruching right here and then 
this really pretty little like gather little skiff of fabric right here I don't know how, what to call it it does have a side metal zipper and then it also around the back it has like this little sewn-in belt this is a thrift store find I paid four dollars Oh, it's just, I love it. I have worn this one a few times as well. I do worry just because of the sheerness of the fabric. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is pretty thin, especially see on the back, the front does have like two layers of, it is lined a little bit in the front. This one I believe is probably more of a late 40s. This one actually did have shoulder pads in it, but they, I think they had been washed or something. Like they were real lumpy and weird. And so I will eventually make some new shoulder pads because it really is meant to be worn that way um, in the 1940s style with the shoulder pads. So I will eventually replace them. I have not as of yet, but yeah, this one I love. <laughs> up is this another 1940s black dress <laughs> it is so pretty the tag says it is a k carter original i'll show you that um this one is also quite sheer um but it does have this pretty it's, it's i think it's satin or yeah it feels like satin to me um little neck detail right there and then it also has like a waist well it's more like a hip detail really um of a similar uh the same fabric as the neckline um with this little sash around the waist super pretty it has a back zipper however it's like just in goes up to the middle back which is strange and somewhat inconvenient to put on <laughs> it's fine this one does have shoulder pads intact that are in great shape, so that's always nice. I have worn this one a handful of times. Um, I love it, it's super pretty. I just really worry, look, see I've already got, I've got a seam separation right here in the armpit, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to fix that up, and then this one has a little rip in the armpit, so yeah, it's real delicate fabric. Um, I, this one will need to go in the vending pile, I guess, before I can wear it again. Next up is this beautiful daisy print rayon 1940s dress with the gorgeous peplum. It is so, so pretty. This one, I cannot believe, this was one of those magical thrift store finds. Like I found a mint condition rayon daisy print 1940s dress at the thrift store for four dollars. Like I just, oh my gosh, I was overjoyed with this one for like two weeks. I couldn't even stop thinking about finding it. It was the best. Yeah, I love this one. It's super pretty. I have worn this one a little more often than the, those other black ones just because I love it so much and it is in a little bit better shape as far as the fabric goes. It doesn't seem too very delicate which is nice um, but yeah oh, I love this dress you guys. I, it's one of my it's one of my favorite from my 40s vintage for sure. <laughs> I have a rayon purple suit and this one has quite a bit of fading um, purple tends to do that in vintage I found but um, I still love it I still wear it and this one I got on Instagram it was um, sold as like a damaged item and so I did get a good deal on it. I think I paid like $28 for this but it is a full suit So I will show you the label. It says Jane Franklin Jr.'s 
and it's really cute a-line skirt and purple jacket i may at some point decide to to try to dye it so that it's all the same shade of purple but i don't know yet for now it's i've just worn it as is with the fading and everything and it's been fine Next up is this amazing emerald green gabardine suit. This is one of my all-time favorite thrift store finds ever. I believe I paid $6 for this one. So yeah, if you can believe that. It has these amazing sleeves. They're kind of, kind of bishop sleeves a little bit. Great pockets. Here is the label custom tailored in Hollywood by George's of Hollywood original design. So I don't know what fabulous lady wore this, but I would love to know. Wouldn't that be so cool? So yeah, this one is one of my favorite finds ever. Thrifted 1940s tailored suit. I love it. Last up from my True Vintage 40s collection is this amazing suit. This is a new acquisition for me. I just barely got it a couple, like a week ago. And this is the one I was saying is not thrifted. Um, this one I bought in a vintage clothing store in Salt Lake, it's called Decades. And he, the owner had just barely finished steaming this and put it on the rack and I was like, need it. So pretty I love it so much it has an awesome cut to it it's super flattering um, I love the pocket little pockets with the arrow tips on them and then the skirt is an a-line which is I really love I love a-line skirts on me anyway much better than pencil skirt I feel like they're more flattering for me um, let's see I'll show you the label it is Carrie Brook Fashions. There you go. And uh, I'll put some pictures in. This was, I, I couldn't be happier with this purchase. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this one, um, specifically for um, like presentations at work, stuff like that. So yeah, I'm in love with it. Amazing. Moving into the 60s, we have this beautiful pink and orange dress. It's like floor length one. It's super flowy and super pretty. This one is also thrifted. It doesn't really have much as far as the label goes, but um, it does have a size 14 and then dry clean only. Fine. But um, yeah, this one's super pretty. I wore it on a vacation in Mexico. I thought it looked like super tropical and pretty and flowy. So um, yeah, this is a fun one. And next up is this fun Hawaiian dress. This one is also kind of floor length. It's a mermaid style dress. I'm still hoping to fit into this one. <laughs> it's a tiny bit small, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, but this one's really cool. It is Kimo's Polynesian Shop, made in Hawaii. And I still have my thrift store tag on. I paid $4 for this one. Um, but I love the colors. It's super pretty and I need to be a 60s mermaid. Must make it happen. Okay, last up for my 60s true vintage collection is this amazing Alfred Shaheen dress. And unfortunately, I believe this one has been shortened. It's quite short. It barely comes to the top of my knee, um, which is unfortunate, but you cannot turn down a Shaheen at the thrift store. For its I don't remember four or six dollars like you just can't so here is that label uh, when I saw this I was like 
<gasps> You're kidding me. Like Alfred Shaheen at the thrift store. Oh my. Okay. So, um, yeah, it has this really cool kind of like, I don't know if it's like Japanese or Chinese characters. That's what it kind of looks like to me. Or maybe like, maybe kind of like Mayan print or something. It does have a little bit of a seam that I can let out. So I will probably do that. Um, it's got a good, probably like two inches that I can take down, which I probably will eventually. Um, but yeah, this one is one of the good ones, folks. I'm re I love it. Um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see if I can just maybe lengthen it a little bit and do a, it has a few seam separations that I need to fix, but other than that, yeah, pretty awesome. Okay, thank you so much for watching. That was my collection of true vintage clothing items from the 40, 30s, 40s, and 60s. So next up, we will get into the 50s. I may have to split that one into two videos. We shall see how it goes. There's quite a bit um, just because of collecting for years and years. So um, yeah, probably that is coming here soon. So if you are not subscribed already, you're gonna wanna do so. Love to have you stick around with me here for some vintage fun. And I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.